Hey, man. What's up, Yo. dude? What's up, my dude? Hello. What's up, bro? Do we like a Akali here with TL's comp? It seems kind of weird. Talon jungle. Ta Akali mid. Oh. Uh, seems fine, no. Kill gas. Yeah, seems all right. I don't know. Does Akali ever look like weird in a comp? Yeah. When? I don't know if your team's not really trying to like dive in and kill him. Hmm. She's a bit homeless. You think she can't like survive as a solo fucking diver kind of? I mean, they, they just blinded her, right? No. They're against. I mean, I, I guess it was a pseudo blind, right? Because Annie. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Akali's good if you have a matchup like Azir where, you know, maybe you want a little extra safety in lane. Like, if you're going to get Giga Camp, she's good. And then, like, you know, a mid laner who doesn't really want to match her in the side lane, she can just keep trying to kill. Yeah. Dude, C9's comp actually looks so weird. What the yeah. fuck? I don't think it's bad, but it just looks weird. They have a fuck ton of CC. Yeah, they do have a lot of CC. They might like they don't have the most damage if unless they're like ahead, I think. Ooh, another Annie shield start. It's kind of clever. I wouldn't fuck do that. It must have started from supports. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I feel like on mid it's weird, but maybe not. Oh, I don't know. No, I mean, it seems good, like, for trading. Like, you how, you literally can't trade into it. Like, she walks up and autos you. If you hit her back, she'll shield whatever you hit her with, and then you take even more damage. Yeah. And she just I guess. Up. I mean, I guess, like, just nice your stun. It's weird. If they are just like turbo pushing the wave, you can't really contest it. Yeah. Or if they you can just auto them out. Or if they ignore you. <laughs> With the shield. Just don't even touch you. Uh huh. How does it last? Look it up. I don't think it's super long. Like the aggression by C9. Get the smite out at Wolves and just take the blue. Oh, blue buff. If you know she has shield, you like try not to trade with her. I mean, I guess she can just hold I mean, she's it. She's literally just going to keep autoing you until you hit her with something, though. Yeah. But you can do it in a response to like when an auto is in the air or ability or whatever. Yeah, that's true. So I'll lap your ass. Oh my god, Harry's butthole. It's kind of like the Kassadin thing, dude. Like. Uh oh. Ooh. He just slips past him. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Didn't feel like what Piosik did was unsafe, but I think Blabber and Eminus had everything on him. Harry's having a rough time. Yeah. The boys are here, though. That should be... A... Oh, wow. Sidestep. He just walks out of it. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh, God damn, bro. Was that? That feel when you get three man? Doing your point blank recon and you just walk out of it. Some fucking faker type shit. I know. Don't even use a sum, just walk out of the skill shots. Yeah. Jesus. Eminence might be the real deal. Was that even like misplaced from Recon, or that was just pretty well played? I, mean, I don't know. It looked pretty good by Core. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Eminence was like ready to flash it if it was lined up on him. Yeah. Huh? C9 is just yoloing this. They don't give a fuck. Hmm. And they get it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy flashes. Yon's dead. Yeah. Wow. 
Nice. Damn, dude. I love the way C9 plays, dude. Legit so aggressive. Yep. All these plays they make are like not necessarily the most safe looking. They're like all half HP doing dragons and it has like no mana. Mm -hmm. But they had the fudgy cake coming in. Fucking ults down. Forces flashes, two of them. Just purely off the old and then Zai's in a terrible position after it dies. Pretty crazy. Yep. <laughs> but just, just like he's not worried about losing stuff top for this. Like the waves at his turret, like Shogat's gonna get placed, but he's just like, I don't give a fuck, dude. Sion rich Shogat. Yeah. I can leave. I think that's why they felt confident to do it because they knew Fudge was there. But you know, a lot of players in that situation are not comfortable doing like the full rotation. Most yeah. players would want to like half rotate, but then be like, oh, I got to go back to my wave. Like I can't lose a wave. Yep. I mean, there's obviously times where you don't want to do that, but if you're in a stable matchup where like they're not really going to snowball on you, even if you fall a little behind, I think it's good to do this kind of stuff. Do they actually just going to get everything? Yeah, dude, they just take whatever. They just post up. They're like, they don't care if you know that they're doing it. They're like, yeah, we're just going to do it. Jesus. Try to stop us. These guys are crazy. Did someone play Cho'Gath Senna? Like, I keep hearing about that. Guma did. And then some team in LPL was playing Cho. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Senna definitely wants some, like, the lanes where she has someone tanky who can, like, just frontline for her, basically, but also have CC so that if they jump on Senna, you can peel. Yeah. Maokai, Cho, Zack. I never actually played Senna Wukong. Yeah, that was a weird one. I didn't really ever understand why that worked, but apparently it did. Somehow you can farm as Wukong. I, I feel yeah, like anyone go, that can actually farm, it'll work with. Because normally the problem is just picking some sort of melee you can't really farm. Mm -hmm. But you, know, if you can. I still feel like Rengar is one of the most, like possibly sleeper champs like i'm not gonna sit here and say like rengar is definitely op people should be playing it but like some of the interactions he has with like Sinna and ivern is like it's actually so fucking strong it's hard oh. for me to imagine you can't make that work in some way yeah like, walking up with your shroud and it's like is there a fucking cat about to one tap oh. me from here oh uh, i mean tl's going in i'm oh blabber Gary looks like he's way over committed yeah Damn. Oh, fuck. He forgot he's a uh, fleet footwork Merc Tredicali. Doesn't exactly have damage. Yeah. Summit should be fine here, unless he wants to die. Oh, okay. Piosic. Gets the Q in the auto on Eminus Flash. I missed that. I was watching Zerker go in. Yeah, it's just nothing super crazy. I'm not sure if Eminus was trying to flash the Q2 damage. He did net. Net. Akali's all in damage is pretty low until 11. Like, the second R will only really do, like, about 200 max. And he, mm -hmm. he missed it, too. Well, he kind of just used it as a gap closer when he went in, but. Yeah, I mean, it was predict. He didn't have vision. Yeah. He was following Man. Diego R. Stuff like this makes Rakan seem so strong. It's like he just plays in your face, looks for the engage, and then even if you go on him, he's like so slippery. Yeah. With all the tenacity stuff, it's like not actually that easy to just full on one shot him before he can slip out. Mm -hmm. Watch Eminence. Uh, good buffer on the auto by Lee. If he could have flashed the Q damage, which is inconsistent, I mean, this could have lived, I guess. It's always impressive to me, like, when you watch these games, it feels like Blabber has, like, legit 24-7 been doing shit, right? And, yeah. And, like, he's not even down in farm. It's like, that's the hard part. It's, like, it's not hard to have a lot of farmers jungle or to pressure, but, like, finding a good balance of both where you're, like, pressuring without falling behind is usually the trick. Mm-hmm. I mean, part of that's just like playing well with the team. Like a Does, lot of his plays are being supported well by lanes. Harold and Dragon give four. Yeah. 
They also give a shit ton of XP. Yeah. Quite a bit more than a regular camp. Damn. TL keeps going for these late contests. Like, they show up just to watch them take it. Meteors, are there any champs that are over slash underrepresented in LCS based on how powerful you think they are? I was saying yesterday, I think Lucian Nami is probably a little overrated. I think Lucian Nami's good. But, yeah, we, we did see a little too much of it. Where yeah, I mean, it's, it was just it's picked every fucking bad, game but... for not real reason. Yeah. Team's kind of just defaulting it because they're like, yeah, we'll fucking. This shit's good. We'll win. Oh, <laughs> oh that. <laughs> True wombo well, combo. Kept him from flashing over the, the lower wall, but. Yeah. It's good if they're good Lucian. Uh, in the AD carry is not good at Lucian. I see. Yeah, I mean, being a good Lucian helps, but <laughs> I think just in general, it's like a... Oh, the heart steel proc. Oh, he's stunned. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, Dunn got eated. Uh-oh. Oh. Moves. The movement. Oh. Holy fuck. I'm going to stun like the entire team without second son. Oh my god. Can you do it? Oh, Can I've do seen it? this before. Oh my god. The go precision. He hit all those fucking cues. What a god. How does he do it? <laughs> I, I feel like most people miss at least one of those chasing in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I see a lot of Zarius who just like straight up missed a fuck ton of cues. Like usually just not being in range. Yeah. And being AD carry players who are used to just right clicking. That's true. Not really not, good at aiming stuff. Not used to skill shots and having to actually play the game. Yep. Watch the second Eminus stun. Two man stun. Right here. Mm. Oh. Legit stuns three people. Yeah. Like all the way across their lane. Pretty gross. I don't know, man. C9 just seems too good. Yep. They are looking pretty good. They pressure so hard. I feel like playing against them, like, you don't have time to do anything. Three drags. 21 minutes. Yep. Hella turrets taken. Constantly taking fights. The score isn't even, like, too representative of how much action there's been. Yeah. Only eight kills. I mean, TL's playing, like, pretty slippery champs. Yeah. They're just like, oh, wave's crashing top. Let's go top. Yeah. They're, like, not worried at all about TL pushing down mid or, like, coming fucking them. They're oh. just like, oh, dude's in range. Let's go. Oh. Huh. I, I'm curious what the comms for C9 look like during these kind of plays. Like, what are they saying? Like, oh, we have a wave top. Like, let's go. Let's fucking get this. And then they see people come and defend. Blabber's like, yo, look this dude. Look this dude. <laughs> a lot of the stuff is really conditional. It's not like you're going to spell it all out. Like, all right, like we have this wave top. Like, let's pressure with this. If they come, we're going to jump on them. And like, we're going to do all this. Like, yeah. Legit just not realistic to say all that shit. Yeah. Most of it has to just be known. Plans just push top, but like, oh. you know, everyone knows not to overcommit. I think I think the the best ones are like more like the ones where someone's in a place they shouldn't be, like early game. Like grouping for turret sieges. Because mm -hmm. those happen to happen unnaturally. Whereas some of these are like, you know, there was nothing for them to do anyways. So they're just there. Yeah, I mean, it, I still think they have, like, better decision-making than a lot of teams as far as, like, you know, say that situation we just saw where, like, they went top and, like, they chunked the turret really low and then, like, jumped on Cho'Gath, right? It's like, yeah. a lot of teams would have been like, oh, okay, like, they're defending this, like, let's just go back mid kind of thing. Uh-huh. Like, they're, they're deciding, it's like, all right, let's just say fuck the mid wave. Like, we don't care. They can get mid push. We're just going to, like, use this and take the turret. Unless they come. And if they come, we just... You know, yeah, and they were all around for it. Yeah. 
Someone asked about Hurricane versus PD on Siri. Uh, most people are growing Hurricane on Siri, like most of the pros. Mm -hmm. I think it makes sense. I, I feel like it's not really even much of a decision or preference. I think it's just better. But, like, people weren't really sure because PD's a pretty good item. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has a lot of fucking splash damage. Yeah, I, I feel like it's... I feel like it's comparable to Jinx. Like, people ended up going PD a shitload on Jinx when she was meta, but, like, Hurricane's still is so fucking strong. Dude, Summit has, like, not hit a rupture in any of these fights. Ooh, Blabber lost all of his help. Oh, he hit one. He hit one. Oh. Dude, yeah, I was gonna say, the fucking execute, like, it's so close. Holy fuck. Very good against a tank, I guess. What is it, 15%? Something like that. And there's Soul. I never really thought about Cinder versus some beefy boy now. Like, normally her ult does a lot to squishies only. Mm -hmm. So with that, she can actually finish off a tank. Yeah. I mean, my understanding of Cinder since their change was like, he's just really fucking good late. Her early game got nerfed pretty hard. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's oh. pretty awkward. Summit does not have flash. Does she might know? Walk in. Wait. Kyosik has it fucking. Thing uh. Wait. They're. Two people on TL were like hitting Baron. Harry no. Yo, what the fuck? Man, that was awkward. I almost feel like TL could have killed it there, but the only person I mean, to help weird. was like Akali. Their, their people on the ramp couldn't really connect. Yeah. And Lisa and Akali do total piss baron damage. Yeah, it if just, Joe had flash, that would have been like really good for them. It just seems like that was what they were going for, but then like, oh my God. like Akali just didn't help hit it. And then the the other dudes like went too far forward. Did he not hit it? I think it was just Lee. I'm pretty sure it was just Lee. Like, Akali didn't try to hit it. Because it's a 1200 smite at this point. So he needed 800 damage total, which he can't really do. Mm -hmm. Akali's pretty bad at fucking doing damage to it, but she has. Decent burst. Mm. If she had no energy, I'd give it to him. I mean, I I know he at least eat it, but I don't know if he waited for it to heal first or something. I don't think he took the E though. If he like pushed it, did he? Mm. I don't even know if they'll show it. But we'll probably just have to check after. Oh my Ooh. God! The deep flank, Giga flank. Can he even do anything here though? Like, I feel like he just walks up and gets. Insta killed. Team has to go first. Oh. 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 Or did in fact go first. Oh. Oh. Fudge is You're just one v 2 in backline. Oh. <laughs> like, dude, just listen to his heart seal stones. It's like. Oh my god. So okay. satisfying. A little bonk. Wow. That timing really blew. I, I guess that's the lack of CC, huh? That you're talking about? Rakan yeah. went in, like, there's legit no follow up. D didn't yeah, even get I mean, a good, like, combo. I recognize, like, you can win without a lot of CC, but it sure as hell helps. Yeah. It seems like a lot of teams, like, don't think about it. Because we see a lot of these comps where they end up just not really having CC, and you know? it's like, <laughs> <laughs> what? F fucking Sven Yan. <laughs> oh wait, I missed it. The fist bump into the handshake. Wait, he didn't. He did a palm up, didn't he? Yeah. Look, 
He did the palm up handshake. That's like a that's like a sign of respect. Good day, good sir. Have you have you heard of that with like handshaking? No. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it, it's based on like I don't know perceived like power difference between people, or whatever. Like like if if you're both handshaking like vertically, it's like you're equals. But if one person like tilts their hand palm up like that, it's basically like a sign of respect for the other person. So who was up? Sven. Sven was up. So he he was like offering like a a respectful handshake. Yeah. Do you think five band changed lowered champion variety unlike what's expected from it? I don't know. It's weird. Like, I think the format itself for LCS is like, it's good, but it, it does lead to like weird metagame things going on with like the way that the draft is so like complicated, I guess. Like, you know, the way that third pick on red side, like you have the option to take something and then cover it with two bands. Yeah. I mean, it's weird too, because... Like, the disadvantage of the red side is that if there's something real fucking strong, you literally can't get it first, so you have to ban it. Yeah. So then the red side only becomes good when you, like, don't really have anything that you care about, like, as a singular pick. Because mm -hmm. you can just trade. Like, say there's three really strong things, red side's at an advantage. Because then, you know... I mean, three really strong things that aren't permaband, basically. Like, you get two for one. Yeah, I mean, there's also, like, counters to take into account, though. Like, yeah. there's some champs which, like, you know, if, if you avoid a certain matchup, it's really good. But there are certain matchups that make it regrettable to pick. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think the current draft is, like, interesting for sure. I don't know if it could be better. And I'm generally not a fan of adding more bands because, like, as a pro player, it's really obnoxious when, like, you're not actually able to practice or play what you practice. I think that's, like, pretty sad. Like, with these champs that are perma banned, like, 70% of the time, it's like, how much should you be practicing this champion? You know, like, if you're uh, Armut, how much should you be playing your Nar? It's going to be banned against you every game, but, like, you want to still be proficient at it, which takes practice time. True. Me just would love fearless draft. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of like just getting people out of their comfort zone and just seeing how they do on like random shit, as well. I mean, what else can you even do? For draft. Like right now, it puts a lot of value on flex picks, and like you know, you pretty much always pick bot lane early because it's the least counterable. The way I've thought about bot lane picking was. Um, or like it, it just gets too weird if you like don't pick it and then fucking get in the second draft phase and there's just turds that you're left with yeah and then everyone's just useless yeah IMT's playing the all melee gangbang comp I think I would rather be fly here yeah like, I don't know this this top side together we've seen this kind of thing before where no damage kind of low damage yeah yeah Obviously, if like if you can get ahead, it's not a problem. But can't always play every comp from ahead. True. This dude's not even using the best Ari skin. Actually, she got a visual update. Maybe the other ones are hella good now. Wait, Mystery Impact. Oh, That's not the top lane. Fuck. Oh, oh! Wait, they didn't see. They didn't see. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! I mean, they don't know. Dude, imagine he gets hooked there. Yeah. <laughs> I think Impact missed one XP. Yeah, he did. He missed Dude, two. This is the kind of shit that's like, this is the Impact special. What the concept we were talking about before with like Fudge and these stable matchups. Just being able to sack and still be fine. Yeah. It's like a confidence thing. Like, you know you're fine even if you have to play from a disadvantage for a bit. It is a cheese, too. No, it no. Fucking super cheesy. I mean, if that worked, though, that would have actually given bots such a huge advantage. Yeah. 
different champion you could call it strategy, but because Scion is historically oh. known only for like I didn't see it. I gotta wait for the Q though. You really just if it's Scion, it's How long? Okay. You know, Which vice Q Q cooldown level one? Like Eleven. Oh. Oh, I think Winsome hits that. I don't know. <laughs> wait. Fleshy hook in. Got some damage, I guess. That seemed kind of crazy. Actually holding this wave. That's pretty awkward. But I guess they baited him. They could see it. Real awkward in general. And Fly must know something's up. Like what Fleshy just did was the most fucking unnatural looking movement you've ever seen. <laughs> Like, oh, yep, there's Nautilus running at us with one HP. Yeah. Probably no jungler here. Oh, my oh God. God. That's embarrassing. He was really trying to hit Kai'Sa. Yeah, I mean, there's two champions standing in a line. I'll just throw it behind both. <laughs> Who's going for the flash predict? <laughs> Unironically, might have been what he was trying to do, or he just... Maybe. Had a muscle spasm. A bit, but it was a while. It's a, that's a long time in League of Legends, right? Yeah. Like talking about the opportunity cost that would otherwise be spent a couple camps, games. getting some gold, getting some levels. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh -oh. Doctor uh -oh. Doug, welcome back. back. Here it's time for some alcove gaming. Oh. Ruby three though. Wow. Oh. Oh. Speak of fucked up the Q flash, and now he's fucked. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was really forced. Oh. Oh, it's getting close. Nope. Spider-Man's out. Dang, look at the mid lane CS. Bolulu's actually just kind of like down 20. And down XP, meaning he probably had to take a shit recall. Take a shit. Take a shit. Just like JoJo. Has Kenny ganked mid at all in this game? Seems like with Galio, you do want to pressure mid. Oh, this is kind of the situation Ooh. we saw with C9, right? Where, like, they're just confidently hitting the Herald. Oh. This is when it's done poorly, oh. and they're just kind of all getting cleaned. They just, they don't have any damage. Oh, or do they? Oh, that reset was huge. That reset was huge. Can he get the body? He got... Wow. Got out of the charm. Ult over Kenvy, no balls. <laughs> it would be completely suicidal, but do it anyway. Pussy. Gotcha, coward man. Dude, this was literally the same situation we're seeing with C9, though, where they're like, you know, they're just hitting Herald first. They've got first move from their side lanes. But, like, it's really just comes down to execution. Like, uh, there is risk to doing this kind of thing, but, like. I wouldn't call it the exact same because they had a numbers advantage, C9. Whereas. I mean, they, they had a temporary number advantage. Like, Cassante was there and Sion was Gigafar. Well, yeah, but like the C9 one, like the show never came in that one, so it's five v four. But like they they were doing it with Harold too, like they were just doing it all game. Yeah, I think it's it's a similar concept of like even though they can fight you, you're still just like starting the shit and like daring them to go on you. Oh, oh. wow! Wait, oh, Speaky got the Harold. Speaky doesn't have alt. I was wondering. Oh my god. Oh! Holy fuck! If he... Wait, was that three flashes? No, no, revenge doesn't didn't have to flash. Wow! What is happening to Fly Quest? Uh, well, Speak is dying a lot. This is the Vi effect. Yeah. This champion is like it's just it's a very easy to ant on Vi. Immortals is actually kind of just everywhere. Mhm. Mm yeah, I mean, they're. They're not having the cleanest execution on every play, but <sighs> I feel like they're making oh. they're making proactive plays. Wow, good attempts. Oh, they killed him. Did they not see Nautilus, or he just warded over the wall? I think he did just ward. Mm. He got hex flashed on.
it's gonna game be audio too loud. Speaker, right? He has to be the initial person engaging, and if everyone dives into the same Fuck time, you. Oh. 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 Goodbye, Kenvy. But who else dies? Speaker. Yeah, coming in. <laughs> oh, the Gale Force. <laughs> mm -hmm. Didn't even get it. Unlucky. <laughs> Holy fuck, impact in the push. Whoa, dude. This guy's crazy. IMT looks like they want to contest. Galio TP up very soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're posturing like they're going to go in. They look pretty goddamn late, though. Oh, oh big stun by impact. Nice. They have the mid wave. I don't think they get much. Let me just push mid go bot. In this match, 30 seconds on the Drake, and I think that's what Immortals is saying here. We don't want to fight for the Herald. They already had the setup. Don't waste everything. I like this by Fly. We'll play for the Drake instead. Looks like they're going to be able to potentially crack Bonk. the top because Spika is kind of threatening the zoning. Spika's up here, so they should be able to get some gold. The Herald doesn't keep going though. Almost something would have been better for Spika to just be here hitting top. I guess it's Get it. crash tier two is pretty important. Oh, wow! Unlucky. How did he get how chained he... like that? Yeah, how did that even start? Is that a charm? I, I mean, like everything's dodgeable. Weird. Yeah, I, I missed it. I think he he must have got queued from Vi from Raptors because Vi was standing in the Raptor pit. Yeah. You are. Out of vision hit. I guess it makes sense. Oh wait, he actually went Sunder on by this game. Because if you go Cleaver into like, you know, Radiant, the build before, Radiant was nerfed a decent amount. It still feels pretty good, but like, I don't know, you're, you're not really like a huge threat when you build that way. Yeah. Like you can't really solo people, whereas like you can go Sunder and that's like a really big spike. Like you're real strong with that item. But then afterwards, it's weird. It's like, do you go Cleaver? Because then you're like, still pretty fucking squishy. You have HP, but not really any resists. Do you think Ayla's holding this team back versus Winsome? I don't know. I mean, Ayla hasn't looked particularly good this game, but in other games, it seemed like he's okay. I mean, it just doesn't feel like the support is like... Oh. 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 Wow, he got fucking slammed. Got banged in the ass. Jesus, actually, no time no. to react on that Q. Yeah, I mean, that's just something you have to, like, be aware of. Like, you knew Vi was up there, right? Like, she's not showing in lane. Where's she going to be? Shouldn't hug that wall. Farming her jungle? No. I'd like to hear your thoughts on top lane build diversity and pro play, Steaky or BDOs. <laughs> mm, I mean, right now, it's a lot of tanks being played, so... You generally tanks are just gonna buy the best tank items. Yeah, I don't even know if you if he means directly tanks, because I mean they're currently mirrored builds. And then we were talking about yeah, I mean, heart steel. A, a lot of like Jack Show or I mean, not a lot of people are going heart steel. It's mostly just fudge. So it's like Jack Show or heart steel, Sunfire, and then whatever. Yeah. It's all, it's all dependent on the team comps in the game. Like, it's heavy AD both sides. Both tanks are mm -hmm. just gonna build full fucking armor. Yeah. Not really scared of the Ari or the fucking Galio. I mean, Sunfire is a strong ass item. Yeah. Pretty cheap. Scales with your bonus health. I did hear Horizons bugged in some way. I don't know what it is. I don't know why Ari built it. That. Hmm. Seems troll. Oh, this shit's just uh, dead. Like, I, I still for life me don't know what the the niche for this item is. I don't know. You get vision, I guess. Yeah. I mean, like it gives it, you it a flat damage increase, so I guess it would be like technically maybe be better on champions who have like more base damage than ratios. But then it's also weird because like that's the same shit Pen does. What do you mean by flat? Horizon focus is good on AP users. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. What'd you say? I said, what do you mean by flat damage increase? 
like if you have if more of your damage is weighted into like the base damage on your spells than the ratios oh uh-huh I don't know, I think Elise is one of the classic examples of that, but Elise has always been weird. I feel like there's always been a misconception of, of like how good AP is on her. Like, AP is pretty fucking good on Elise. Holy shit. Giga Galio flank. What is their approach? They need to like... He hits the fucking... One shot Wait, Prince or something dead. get his corpse. Uh -huh. Uh, did Bo Lulu go AFK? What the fuck? Wait, dude, look where Prince is. And, or, wait, Fly is so spread out right now. Oh. Okay. Okay, nice. Nice. Good pick on Vi. I think they know Prince. Kais if is they dead. know Prince is there, he's so fucked. They do? I don't think they know. Okay, now they do. They I mean, do. They, they, they saw him fucking. Ooh. Ooh, can he get out? He has ult and flash. Probably just gonna let himself go. Okay, that was the weirdest shit from Fly. I mean, yeah. obviously, like, <laughs> they didn't know Galia was back there. So it was good on Balulu to hold that position, but. Mm. Yeah, you can get pretty good damage to it. So, I mean, you, you get the Blight procs and, like, your ability cooldown resets hitting it. Yep. Wow, they get the tactical all without <laughs> committing anything. That's so good. What the fuck? Impact says, Why What's is up? Immortals walking up? I don't know. Tactical is so disconnected from the fight. Oh, Kenvi just gets insta banged. Uh, now Tactical feels compelled to follow. He's just legit getting ran down by four dudes with no ult. Four hot dude. Wait. Maybe it's He's okay. somehow alive? Wow. Don't get anyone back, I think. Unless Bolulu. No, I won't kill. Huh. That actually okay, I mean, ended up not bad for Immortals. I am so surprised. Yeah, like, I guess I'm well played by Tactical somehow surviving. Like, that was such a fucking awkward situation, dude. If you're AD carry and your team puts you in that spot, like, you're really slamming your keyboard. I, I just don't know why Immortals walked up. That felt so awkward. Yeah. It's like, oh, they just blew my ult for for free. I mean, but it was also like Tactical wasn't connected with them at all. Like, yeah. he was so cut off and he had no ult. So he's just like, you could tell like what he's thinking. He's like, do I sit back and be safe? Like, do I walk up and try to do damage? Like, and he just and it, he's just like, fuck it. Yeah, he walked up, got fucking like vileted, scion queued. Yeah. Didn't even die. How did he fucking live? I thought he was boned. So they're like chasing down. It looks like it was Revenge kind of leading this charge and just baiting the absolute shit out of his team. So he gets ulted. Wait, why is Vikla in a stopwatch? Did he stopwatch anything or was that a misclick? I didn't see. Um, I, that's a fight I want to go back and see again. Decap. I love the crazy ass team fights when you just go back and you keep rewatching it from a different POV and you just see some like, weird shit every time. Everyone's POV looks troll as hell. <laughs> Meteo's whispering today. No, I'm hella hungry. I forgot to eat before stream, waiting on my food. It's fine. Got hot dogs. I haven't had a hot dog in a fucking minute. You got some glizzies. I don't have a microwave in my current place. Can you make hot dogs in an air fryer? Like, is that good? What? You don't have yeah, fucking a microwave. Yeah, How? Does that not come with an apartment? I thought it would. Didn't check for it until we get there and we're setting up shit and we're like, oh, there's no microwave. Huh. Oh. 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 Fleshy is gone. Prince is getting gangbang. Wait. I think tactical's awkward. Oh, oh he lives. Shit. Oh my god. But oh, wait, yo, Vic. Oh! I can't tell who the fuck is winning. It looks like FlyQuest. It, it was fine for Immortals, and then Ari got a fucking assassination queue with her ult. Revenge kind of shit on Prince there, that fight. 
charm to guarantee the last one. It's all over except I think revenge dies here. Yep. Predicted. Jesus. But they will get the dragon. It's a huge team fight there from Vikla. These fights are so flashy, bro. It's like real hard to follow. All right, let's see. So IMT's hitting Baron. Bolulu runs at Ayla. He's just completely zoning Ayla. Okay, I feel like Bolulu did not do a whole lot that fight. Tactical's alive. Happens to him. Oh my god, he gets fucking tipped by Justin R.E.Q. Yeah. Wow. That's embarrassing. He throws his hands up. God! Fucking shit, no one blocked Damn the Q for me, dude! Fuck! Look at that Ari damage, good god. Yeah. That shit bangs. It's like, wait, would Horizon Focus increase the damage of Ari's true damage Q? Uh, I don't know. Interaction with true damage is fucking weird now. Shows the only item in his inventory that gives him any magic resistance. Yeah. So, Cassante, what a sick two, two messages in chat. I think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Got him covered, boys. <laughs> Twitch chat's right again. You, Twitch chat, you don't, no one's gonna hold you accountable, man. You take all the credit if you're right, and if you're wrong, then like, no, I wasn't. See, Minios, I typed it. I typed yes. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many times you're wrong. If you're right once, then that's like good enough. The entire collective, somebody was right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's important. Good buffer there. Try to keep himself safe. Um, but this is this is that difficult spot, right? And that's why they're actually pulling revenge over here. Damn, W gets amplified by Navori. They're actually just doing too much damage at this point. Can't be used that rat just looks so good in the suit. God damn. XDD based. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. IMT's kind of alive. Revenge. Look, they use a little overextended, but he gets out. They use the honey fruits to heal back up. Likewise, still has more HP to work with overall. Woo! These are good. To, these are good team comps to watch, dude. Like, this is my ideal. Like, what League of Legends team fights look like. Like, you don't really know who's gonna win. It could go either way. Oh wait, he's getting the big fat fucking E. Oh. Oh my God, he totally fucking killed his ass. <laughs> oh, it was on a scion. <laughs> Uh, no oh way tactical's gonna die like my that my god that's just so fake he gets fucking that's sneaky so fake. he fucking it's like that smash meme just walks up slowly fucking down smashes him or whatever like good god man oh jesus like yeah i feel like it did feel kind of bad to have to commit something on that scion cube but like i think you just gale force out of that shit yeah Impact just solo carries the game, I guess. Okay. I mean, I would say Vikla played pretty well this game. <sighs> he just won that team fight for them so hard. This game was fucking close. Yeah, I mean, it, just finding that angle, like, such such an, uh, an unforced error. <laughs> I mean, a, a totally forced error. Impact what could Tactical do? TP's in, fucking walks up and cues. Like, there's actually oh, nothing he else. Got him. He got Speaker. Get shit on Speaker. Whoa! I'm pulling back to that real quick. There are a lot of fights I want to pull back to. That 26 minute one was fucking wild. Oh, dude. Yeah, he snipes him with the E from the minion. Slows his ass. Oh, yeah. He greets it so hard, man. Jesus fuck. Oh my god. Yeah, you definitely don't ult here. You definitely just gale. What did Vikla stopwatch? You gale force? And then you fucking oh, yes. have all your shit after? That wasn't... That wasn't troll. Just did it after a Nautilus assault. Yeah, maybe heal too. I don't know. Heal's kind of close. Because he was slowed is the thing. It's not like he would just get a shitload of move speed. Like, he's slowed. Mm hmm. I mean, don't you just gale force out there? 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. Someone was saying you'd probably heal, and I'm saying probably not. Look at this 28 minute fight. I'm trying to figure out like there's no way IMT was playing this properly. I didn't really like Bolulu going on Ayla. Like it's fine to mark the flanker, but he didn't actually stop him from getting in. Oh. Yeah, that's I get he had like a pretty decent fight afterwards, I guess. Like he zoned Rakan and then later came back in, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Galio as a champion in general right now. He's very much like a fucking supportive type champion. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I don't know. He was kind of useless here. Galio? Like, Galio marking the fucking Rakan, I don't think does anything. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's what I was looking at, too. Because he E's at him. He's E's down. He W's him. And then Rakan just gets in anyway. Like, I guess he doesn't get a really good angle, but... What did Kenby do this fight? He's hitting Baron. What, I, my, I feel like if you're going to have somebody zone, like, it's going to be fucking... Nautilus or Viego? Oh wait, not the AOE taunt guy. Like he he's just as powerful in the enemy team as the Rakan would be going in. The, but like Viego's single target. Dude, I think IMT would have won this if Kenvi went on Prince here in that twenty-eight minute fight because he just gets a Kaisa Ghost, hard carry the fight. Instead, he like went for Scion, wasn't even particularly close to killing him. Oh. Yeah, like went left. Yeah. It's kind of hard to follow everything in fights like that, but. Definitely not the ideal way to play it. Oh, impact interview. Pog. Yeah, he ults impact. He actually. If he was super aware of what's going on, he could have ulted at Prince and then just chase him with revenge. Then he doesn't take as much damage, and then he gets the Kaisa. They probably clean the fuck up. I mean... Uh, I feel like they win, too. If this Q doesn't kill tactical, I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not, actually. Yeah. I, I think Galio marking the flanker is just troll. Oh my god. EG is just not even here? What? Is it COVID or what? Like, how are they just all not here? Ain't in the way. You're saying this. FP Ash. Dude? Rakan. Rakan. Where's right Ash here. been, bro? Slam the Rakan. I think. I don't know. It, was, it might not be that good of a matchup in a Rakan. I, I'm curious to see it because it has been banned a lot, like almost 100% presence, but in recent games, it hasn't been getting prioritized as much. Because, like, if Rakan just rushes Merc Treads, like, you, you have, like, shields and heals to sustain through the poke, like, to some degree, and then you can, like, just tank the arrow and run away. Four and sixteen. Wait, what? For Calista? No, for Ryoma. Oh. Wait, what happened to their academy team? I liked playing with Ryoma. But. No butts. I, I like him. I no butts. Good. No fucking butts. Yeah. Wow. He's. They're actually four and sixteen. Getting straight filled up with Coom. Who's on this team? Oh. Ryoma, Sheedan, Soul, Mobility, Smoothie. Doesn't sound like it should be a 4 and 16 team. They just got unlucky, man. I mean, it seems like Ryoma's performing fairly decently in most of these games. He's not really running it down. Is it an advantage to play from home? That's oh, all right. 
a lot more pressure on stage. Less comfortable environment. But, I mean, some people are, like, stage players, too. They feed off the... The adrenaline. Ooh. What? I'm back. Oh, Luger is getting... The heck? Where were you when the counter to Nautilus was just picking another AD carry to soak it? Soak the fucking hook? Um, Ignore Nautilus, just hit the AD carry. <laughs> uh, uh. This has been going on for quite a minute in the bottom lane. Holy shit. That looks fun. What are you supposed to do? Just FF? Oh my. Can go next false. Oh my god. Powell Fox doesn't give a fuck about CS. Hey, dude, CS straight really up. Is so fucking cursed. Jesus, don't do it. Yeah, you just, it's not even worth it at all. Wow. Level one? Boot lane? A lot of fucking pressure on CLG. Yeah, I mean, they're 7-7 seven, seven in the standings. A lot of pressure to perform here. Yeah, kind of at the spot lane. In this and they're game. up against Ryoma. That's true. That is pretty nerve-wracking. Fuck, dude, I started playing a, a game of chess, and I'm, like, just so committed now I have to finish it. Is it Blitz? Yeah. Blitzcrank. You got this, man. You'll win. Put it on over the stream. Holy shit, that What champion body feels slam? the best on stage slash low ping to you? Ooh, that's actually... Lee Sin. Good question. I mean, yeah, that's like real. Lee and Italy are like the obvious ones. But like, there's some other ones too. Like, even Jarvan and Trundle just like... That's having real. more responsiveness on your... Like, Trundle specifically, getting the dildos on zero ping is like so different from 60. Because like, you can actually get it to go where you want it. Like hit him with the pillar to knock him back toward you and slow him, but, like, you do that in 60 ping, and it's, like, half time you fucking dildo him the wrong way. The dildo? Mm hmm yeah, My favorite shit was, like, 2018 Thieves. I just, I always called it dildo, and then, like, everyone else on my team starts calling it dildo, so, like, re hearing Ryu and someday just say dildo is just too funny. <laughs> Yo, dildo's in three. Dildo's Yo, in three. Dildo, dildo. <laughs> We had this like 70 minute game against, I think it was Clutch or something. I don't know if it was Clutch. It was some random team, but like it was a game five, 70 minute. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure if you counted the number of dildos that were said that game, it was like insane. LCS stage game? Yeah. It was like a playoff match. We went to game five. Jesus. It's a lot of fucking game time. DPM, yeah. Dildos per minute. Yep. Botling is currently getting destroyed. Oh. Oh. Tempo ulti, I see. Oh, Actually, a really smart play there by Someday. He knew his bot lane was all inning, and that the, the global sound of the Scion all would throw off the enemy bot lane to like distract them and allow uh, EG to get that that two v two cleanly off. So like, it actually wasn't a mistake at all. Actually, like you guys yep. didn't get it. Yep. Yep. I saw that angle yeah, too. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. That was very smart. Kind of old and out the game. You don't understand mind games. That would freak me out though. For real. Yeah, I would shit. I would like hands off the keyboard, get under the desk, fetal position. <laughs> like EG's balling starts running at you, but not diving you yet, and then you hear cyanol, and you're like, oh god. Wait, Palafox has the, the fucking gamer knee up. He's got the foot on the chair. <laughs> oh. Wow, oh! Poom is getting CC'd for 30 years. My god. Later, bitch. When you see games like this, you can kind of understand why bot laners gravitate toward not wanting to play the melee shit. Like, 
sure you can win, but like when the game goes this way, it's just real bad time. Quite Kringa. Lose fucking three plates. Uh oh. Ooh, EG has flash on both. Oh my word. No, surely we don't keep going after uh, that. Like, what? Huh? Uh. We see that Gragas play, and that's the the signal to go in. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening, dude? Did they even win this? I don't think so. Shield G? No, I, I thought Rayomo would just scoop him in and fucking kill them all. Holy shit. That was so fucking jank, bro. He actually missed Ash with everything. Yeah. Literally every spell whiffed. Gragas is not an easy champ to play. Now, you know, the, the weird thing with Gragas doing his, like, E into alt combo is like you have to take into account the fact that like his E knocks you back. It's not just a knock up. It like pushes you back a little bit. True. A little bump. A bump in the night. I just for the life of me can't understand why contracts goes in. I mean granted like he didn't know Poppy was there. Maybe if Poppy's not there they can like maybe edge this out but either way it's gonna be real sketchy. Yeah. So Inspired's like pretty much out of the fight can't do anything. I don't know. I, I I feel like you just go there if you're EG. Uh, actually, maybe it's sketchy. You could have a Callista full HP with a Nautilus that you can ult in. Yeah. I mean, Poppy and Ash didn't have too much. I guess you I'm sure you didn't do that. Oh! You saw that arrow? Dude, he hit it. So cool. Yeah, man, Azir is so fucking weird. It's like, he's just in this permanent state of limbo of like being buffed till he's good enough for pro play, and then he's played in pro, and then he's nerfed out of pro, and like the cycle continues. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I Whenever there's champs like that, it's usually they just have some part of their kit. Like, he's just too safe. Like, he's too safe and he scales too hard. They just need to, like, address that. True. Like, I think his safety is what makes him broken. Yeah. Just give him one of those treatments where, like, his E has, like, some insane mana cost or, like, cooldown if he doesn't use it toward the enemy. Oh! oh. Contracts is deep! So he gets out. Inspired's 1v1ing Dokla. Cannot imagine this is going to go well. Who for wins? Him. Who wins? Uh, it looks like maybe inspired. Oh my God! Oh. Big dokes. What the start fuck? walking out of there. Ryoma versus Dokla, two of Medios' former teammates. Oh. Ryoma wins. Oh. Ooh. Do something I, I kind of wish they would do for one season in league. It's just like. Giga buff every champion's ult at level 16. Like, make your ult, like, twice as strong when you hit 16. Or, like, add some extra effect to it. Oh. So then mid laners are just OP as hell? Or top laners? I mean, fucking sure. <laughs> Be cool. I mean, there's some champs who are kind of like that, like Casadino, Kale. Who else gets like a fucking massive spike at 16? I guess like Kha'Zix. Not really, but kind of. Uh, Ooh, this looks like something. Oh yeah, Silas gets pretty scaled. Yeah. All right, they get poo. They get poo? They get boom. Boom. Poo poo. All right, they're on to the Baron. They've got his ear and Varus. Big Dammy Yoge. Contracts is here with this steel in his eyes. No flash. Let's do it. Ulti. Let's fucking go. Oh, they're just going to engage onto the Scion. Oh, Vi goes in 1v4. Oh, wait a sec. Play. <laughs> and he's fucking gone. Palafox doing what he can. I have to run away. Surely this is just fucked for CLG. They just leave. That was a weird. They're hanging around. Zonia. Palafox has flash. Gonna look for the assassination on Ryoma. He's 1 HP. Oh, gets cocked by Inspired. 
Wow, I really thought I was going to die there. I was ballsy. E into the Poppy W. <laughs> I don't think he he didn't like really have good, proper vision on Poppy, did he? Maybe. It, it looked weird. Oh. Oh. So crazy. Pressing summoners and spells. Oh. oh. Big combination. So strong. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh my god. Were they missing? Oh, there he is, Sion. I couldn't find him on the map. He's uh, right there. Right there. Like right, right where I'm pointing. What's going to happen here? 30 seconds for the Dragon Soul. What can CLG do? Spoiler alert, nothing. They're giga fucked. <laughs> they're in the flank right now. They have the They've, Dragon. EG has locked themselves in. They've, they're in that spot where you literally can't go anywhere. But they don't give a fuck. They're too strong. Oh my strong. god. Surely Gryom builds a turret here. Where's the turret? He already built it. He already built it. Where the fuck is it? It's at tier one. Why the fuck is it back there? Oh, Palafox actually getting oh. creeping in here. Oh, Vulcan! Vulcan goes in on the Ash, gets their primary target down. Oh, actually gets oh. Varus too. Oh. oh, can he go for Ryoma? It's winnable. Oh, it's winnable. It's winnable. It's winnable. Big dokes. Oh. Uh oh. Contracts. Onto his ear. Nautilus gets Where's contracts? Two for two. Wait, no, three? Three for two. Wow, actually, good fight for Shilji. Pretty good. That was actually a nice engage by Palafox. Yeah. EG played that, like, about as cocky as you can. Like, legit, one of the things I talk about all the time is this idea of just... Oh, my God, contracts. Oh. Just done got his ass beated. What the hell? Oh. This is... An oh. interesting situation. The Gragasol whiffs. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh. <laughs> they just get 2v3 by two tanks. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Actually, zero fucking damage comp from CLG. Jesus. Yep. Like, you have to win bot lane. Like, you have to gank bot lane and win it somehow for this to be playable but like they just got fucked so hard level one there was like no opportunity <laughs> yeah it was unwinnable 100 thieves first dignitas pjergsen breaks games record he's gonna have the most games or what most number of games where he has not roamed from his lane <laughs> he's ready to break records baby Who's he going to pass, though? I, I'm, I am pretty sure it's Afro. <laughs> Wild Turtle at 500 picture at 500. Well, we've established it's not Turtle, and it's probably oh Afro. Oh, my so God. Uh... And next week, Turtle plays first, so he's going to break the record. Okay. Holy shit. Choo-choo. Chugga, 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 oh chugga, chugga, chugga. This is oh! such an all over the place engage. What are we looking at, man? Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. GG, GG. -G -G. I mean, I guess you got it. You got to give them credit for all committing. They kind of went in one by one, and it was like the least coordinated shit ever, but they did go in. Ape strong together. Mm, they really did it, huh? They really did press the go button. They did do it to him. At some point. <clears throat> Bro, this is actually like... Like, it doesn't seem... Like they had no chance because of that last fight, but this game is actually just cursed. Oh, GLG. Giga fuck, like... Um, EG was actually taking one of those, like, just full fucking commit. Like, I will give the other team the absolute best way to fight me. So that yeah, pushing the bot lane shit. just to like force the issue. It's like it's like running into a choke to fight the other team. It's like yeah, I guess you can win if you're really ahead, but it is one of the like least favorable ways to fight them. Yeah. 
long to get anything else. They're still trying to pad the stats. Chains of Corruption flies out. Gragas gets interrupted. It's a slaughter. I messaged him and said Ryoma greater than Jojo. Who'd you message? Ryoma. Oh my god. Group chat with him and Jojo. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever talked to Jojo before. Same. Maybe in solo queue. I remember like seeing him in solo queue when his name was like Jojo 15 or something. When he was like 15 years old. That was four years ago? Yeah. I mean like I'd seen Three years ago? I don't think I ever like... Actually no, he's 18, yeah. With him. The richest player is the hottest. Who do you think is the richest player in the LCS? <laughs> Impact? Oh, yeah, probably. You mean like best contract or like actually no, most money? Highest net worth, like has the most money. Hmm. Yeah, I'd go with Impact for sure. Unless, unless like, no, I was going to say Prince. And Vicla, like maybe they have crazy contracts, but they still wouldn't even have I mean, it though. They just started though. Like, yeah, they don't, they don't have the contracts yet. Like all the money from it. Like double lift's definitely up there. Now, what is it going to be? Gragas with the Giga Flex. Jensen. I'm so scared of the Gragas, man. Yone. Ooh, Turd Nectin. I don't know if you go Yone with Turd Nectin. I think you, you need some AP here. Cinder? Syndra? Cinderella? Cinderella? Silas? Azir? Well, I think I like Diggs comp better, to be honest. Are you just gonna say that? In front of the plug? Hey, Bjerg, nice to see you again. Yo, Bjerg's checking around the audience, go, ooh, who dat? <laughs> hey. Hey, this Tilly is for you. It whips out the binoculars. I really want Bjergsen to win. He's just so kawaii. Legendary matchup. Bjergsen versus Jensen. Jin the sinner. Sin of the Jin. Bjerg of the sin. Um, just one quick question from the chat. What the fuck are you saying? Jergbusin. Ooh, Tomo getting that flex auto. Holy shit. Oh, but he takes the Q. Uh-oh, gets one more auto. Uh-oh, the hook comes in, hits Busio. Holy fuck, is he dead? Does he get out? Oh my god, barely gets out with about 500 health. Holy This commentary is so awesome that I realized I had to double speed up because everything you said was a clear two seconds ahead. You're welcome. You're fucking welcome. Piece of fucking shit. Fuck Dumb yourself. Bitch. I'm so excited for this next action-packed ability. Ready? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's coming. It's the Q. Oh it's Tomo. my! Tomo's shit up on. Oh, and they lose a push. Jeez. Back up. Does Busio have the flash W? Wait, I, I feel like you always flash W the Tomo here. No, is Busio? He's spacing like that. You get his flash insta. Hmm. Yeah, if you're a noob, you can do that. I guess. Hmm. Why would only a noob do that? Hmm. What's the counterplay? What's the response? How does Tomo get out of it? Just walk away. Remember MNS? No, just walk away. Well, that wasn't a flash W in his asshole. The great Eminus. Oh. Eminus is the second coming of Faker. He could be. What if we actually get NA Faker? Would be cool. Would fuck with it. Except his special move is he can eat two cheeseburgers at once. Hmm. Instead of Smurf every game. What do you mean by eat two cheeseburgers at once? Exactly what I, Did you just fucking miss that cannon? Dude! Dude. Oh my god! Because, I mean, does that mean, like, in one bite, like, you shove them both in your mouth? Otherwise, like, it's not that hard yes. to eat two cheeseburgers at once. You just, like, take one bite of one, take one bite of another. Yep. Sneaky actually does this all the time. Fun fact. <laughs> Sneaky will actually... <laughs> perturb anyone in the vicinity when he eats. He'll get McDonald's, he'll get two cheeseburgers and three cookies and to eat like half of everything. <laughs> he'll get halfway through one cheeseburger and say, 
Check for the next one. Uh, start the next one here. I like the beginning more than the end. What the the next burger looks so good. <laughs> the other one's already yeah. half eaten and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking gross. It's got bites out of it. <laughs> okay, he's sort of right. I don't go halfway, but I go like eighty like percent. bites in. Eighty percent into the first burger, I'll swap. No, I've definitely seen Sneaky was just like. <laughs> Three burgers and like a bite out of each one. I'm just like, no fucking way. No, you have not. Stopped. Sneaky's literally this that, is slender. You know that meme where it's like just fucking killed these wings and there's like one bite out of each wing. <laughs> That's sneaky. No, no, no. He's fucking capping. Where is that? This dude's making shit up. And this is slander. You are actually going to be sued for even one more word. I get so tired of League, like, not not the game, but just getting grief, dude. Like, I'll go in, I'm in a good mood, I'm like, I'm ready to play some League today. Just get, like, three games in a row where, like, someone on my team left or just rage quit, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> Make, like, crazy plays bots. I neutralize their jungler, my top laner, who's crying all game, just throws a fit, starts inting. It's like, I'm getting real sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it gets real boring if someone just literally doesn't want to play. Because they're not being babysat themselves. Yep. It's actually, like, no joke. I feel like camping bot is, like, the best strat in League. But top laners just, like, rebel. Like, they just actually just start crying. If you leave them alone and weak side them. True. Probably picking some fucking volatile matchup. Like, need jungler, the Versailles. <clears throat> Actually, a yeah, screamer. If if it's like the jungler's purposefully neglecting your lane for no reason, it's pretty annoying. But like if you're winning bot side, oh oh oh, what's happening? What's happening? My goodness, big play by hundred thieves ready in that counter gank. Let's fucking Wait, go. did he cancel getting the soul? Can you do that? Huh? I swear, he like clicked the soul, and then he like didn't go in to the soul of thresh. Oh, oh. I don't think he can kill. Three, two, one. Oh, oh he can. Wow, nice. Bro, his Q is like legit up. <laughs> yeah, Q Max Greggy. Wow. That's fantastic. I did not think he would win that. That was close. That was Pog. Oh, so Santorin's camping on a ward. Usually not the best way to get a gank to work out. What should he do instead? Uh, probably sweep or like use a plant. Some vision oh. denial tactic to... Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, I see what you're talking about with the soul. That was weird. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Is yeah. that even possible? Like, know. is that a thing? I've seen some weird shit with, like, buffering souls on Viego, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. Cleaver Viego. This item does not feel strong when I build it on him. Oh uh, my god, he's actually on another fucking word. Ooh, that's so awkward. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Dude, I mean, part of this is because Santorin's holding the herald, so he can't sweep. What should he do? I don't know. Probably just like, uh... bro. That's actually such a like oversight mechanic. Yeah. Shouldn't it just be a fucking item, not a fucking trinket? Because, like, how are you ever going to legitimately be full build? With, like, full slot, no consumables. I don't know. I mean, it could happen. Pretty fucking rare, because it's, it's pre-20 for the second Herald. In the first Herald, you're guaranteed not going to have full slots. Like, you can uh, fill it up with, like... Fine to me, the way it is. 
really uh, i mean like i think it'd be worse if it was like i don't know you just have a bunch of shitter components you have like a refillable and you just like have nothing you can get rid of you kill the herald and you just can't pick it up like <clears throat> sounds awful be awkward Ooh. but both top laners go down i mean there's no reason for it to be the trinket slot besides just it needs to be picked up somehow mm -hmm. just like a physical limitation yeah i mean you can play around it, it there, there's like a weird buggy thing with it oh nice all by closer Ooh. uh this looks pretty bad for dig yep oh, yep down yep ignar goes down wow hundred thieves running a little bit of a train Good counter gonks. It's fucking over. I'll tell you that. I can see that. I was gonna ask, how does Aphelios guns interact with Viego? Like, if you steal Aphelios body, do you you don't get his ammo count, right? You just get his guns. I have no idea, to be honest. I think Aphelios would feel better if you could like force swap one of his guns like if you press e it just rotates it, to your next gun is there a bar like it it looks like it's there but it's just not like oh no, just a little slow on that all doesn't look particularly good for dig oh hold up tenacity's in deep now he's gone Oh. Okay, that ended up going well for Dig. A little overextension there by Tenacity. Got a little bit horny. Hey, Sneaky, fuck you. <gasps> what the fuck? That's messed up. Oh. All right. Pretty big by 100 Thieves there. Yeah, they can just start the Baron. I like how closer is showing. Like, if I was closer, I would try to, like... Intentionally show myself to Bjerg there, so they don't think you're on Baron. But I don't know. Maybe it's too obvious anyway. Oh, oh, he's dead. Closer still has his ult as well. All right, scoop him in, Closer. Yeah, go, 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 scoop, scoop. Go for the big scoop. That was well played by Closer. So rare to see junglers get solo kills in competitive games. Viego, like sometimes, early. yeah. I mean, unless it's like early game against the other jungler or something, it's probably the most common time to see it. True. Classic lurker. <laughs> Closer on defense side. Able to pick Jensen as he's trying to run. Okay, there we go. He just goes. All right, hundred thieves. How do we throw this? This is the second tower I was talking about. Get this one, and then you fully control this jungle leading up to the dragon. Very dangerous now. Santorin is there any hope for Dig here? Tomo's on two items. I've seen Tomo go crazy on Aphelios before. Uh oh. Santorin getting a little bit banged. Busio getting banged a little bit too. Oh, oh. he has flash. He'll be all right. He's okay. Oh, Jensen goes oh, into he the gets scoop. Booped. Doesn't really get anything. He gets uh -oh. booped. Oh, that was awkward as fuck. Yeah, it was like almost a fatty scoop, and it just didn't really get anybody. You got Gragas. What some did they get? They got Bjergsen's flash, Tenacity's flash. All right, that's that's your angle. Dig. Just land a fat hook or sedgel on the Bjergsen. He does have Mercs and Zonia, so it's probably fucked no matter what. But maybe land. Or I mean, I guess you just give the soul. The soul doesn't do anything. <laughs> True. It was actually so bad. 10% more damage and damage reduction below 50% health. It should definitely be ramped. I don't know why the wait still half HP come into effect. Dude, compared to something like Cloud Dragon, fucking Infernal, Mountain. Oh yeah, it's just... Really Hot garbage. Hex tech, like active all the time. Like what? I feel like they were just scared. 
Yeah, I mean, they made it way too fucking broken the first time. But I mean, yeah. even the dragons themselves suck ass. Like, yeah. the only Healing thing about tenacity. tech is the map. Like, the map is cool. The dragon and the soul themselves are, like, so <laughs> fucking weak. What do they change it to? Changes some poison shit. Oh. Ah, oh, goodbye, Santorin. Oh. 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 Wait, Jensen died to that? What the fuck? Oh my god, oh massive my. fucking Rakan. Yeah, it's over. Rakan has looked so insane in like every LCS game, dude. Kaboom! Yeah, he's a good. Surprise, like. I mean, I guess it's just no one's playing Lady Carries now for whatever reason. They kind of got pushed out since the AD carries have been meta. Ooh. He's alive. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, there have been a lot of AD carry bans in games too. It's like Ash, Varus, uh, like Zeri get banned a shit ton. Yeah. So maybe it's not necessarily that Rakan's the best, but it's just like the best shit is too good that it's banned, and then Rakan is the next best. True. I don't know. He he looks nasty. I feel like he'd probably be fine against the better champs too. Can I mute myself so you guys can just see Remedius? Yeah, sure. I'll go yeah, fuck I think myself. That would actually be probably for the best here. Actually, just a better stream, huh? GG versus TT SM. Well, goddamn. Oh, Elise. Spoderman? Oh! Elise, 40% win rate? Yeah, let's nerf her, guys. Let's nerf Elise. <laughs> Wait. She's been played competitively for the first time in about eight years. I think she's needs some nerfs here. Looking a little too strong, Mr. Medios. Oh, Jason! Jason! There's no shot that Slicker is Jace. That is a mid Jace. Jace! They're really going to take their top side in the first three? Dude? Dude? Dude. Dude. Bruh. Dude. Bruh. Si Wait, Sion has a fucking insane win rate. I didn't know that. Dude, bruh, bruh. So now. TSM has to take Zaya. No bot lane at all for GG. It's GG. Oh, wow. Vagar, that's spicy. Oh. Ezreal, Soraka, huh? Soraka feels a bit out of place here. I think Huhi just really likes Soraka. Yeah. And they gave over the Chode Gath. You just silenced the Rakan engage. Easy. They got Zyra, Rakan, Botlane, and then managed and counterpick in every other role. And Golden Guardian's response to Zyra, Rakan was Ezreal, Soraka. Guess we'll see how it goes. Did Golden Guardians really plan out this draft, though? Feels like such a, like, oh, fuck kind of draft. Like, oh, this isn't what we were hoping for. Why not? Ez poke? Jace poke? Spider-Man? With the tank. And some heals. It's a good uh, Mythic Plus comp. Alright, River's moving up. This top lane is pretty spicy early. Both tanker boys quite gankable. Who solo has a ward, but not for this. Seems really likely he's gonna fucking die. Is he gonna juke? He doesn't oh, even move. Oh, and wow. Oh, my God. That was freaky. Seemed like TSM could have got him there if they, uh... If they, if they cared. They committed oh. a little bit harder. Oh, and they get Cho'Gath. He just dies. It's the wave in, though, at least. 
They're actually skins that give you an advantage in game. There's been some. Yeah, I mean, I think they try not to, but sometimes it happens. What was that one that was like Steel Legion Lux or something? Yeah, that one was bullshit. It was like her E was just straight invisible or something. I think it was all of her shit. Like her Q and her E were just really hard to see. Yeah. There hasn't been that many problematic skins, but they've definitely occurred. And the one we just mentioned earlier, Project Dash, like, like they, they fuck something and the ulti hitbox actually was different on the skin. It was like the the animation was like behind the actual hitbox or some shit. Yeah, so you'd get hit by it before the arrow was actually to you. Yeah. That was like yeah, I mean, pro they, probably the worst one. A lot of times they just have like a banned skin list. I don't know what it is these days, but for a while there was just like a ton of skins that you couldn't use either because it's like. I mean, there'd be a few reasons for it. Like, if they felt like it was unfair, it would be banned. I think there are some skins like if you can't obtain them anymore, they don't want play players using them because it's like in a way marketing for LCS, right? Like. If you see a player pop off using a certain skin, you might go buy that skin. Mm -hmm. That's true. What is the like? What's the highest mana cost of outside any of gas in the game? Someone said Karthus R is the highest ultimate, and Nivea W is the highest non-ultimate. Is that even true? Do you have a source? Or just a trust me, bro. A Nivea ult or W? Ooh. Bye bye. Wow, that's a fat punish. Blew all sums and ulti and still died. Oops. And Nidia's W, 70 mana. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so that appears to be straight out of the ass. I was like, that doesn't sound right, but I mean... Huh. Alright, ban that fuck. I find him. I'm sorry, man. You're getting fucking banned. Can I misinformation? <laughs> Feathers fly. Uh oh. Oh, he's dead as fuck. A follow up, bro. Actual the CC. Most tilting shit to get hit by. Legit silence and then root. Yep. No, literally nothing Boogie could do about that. Once he got stunned. Very, very difficult to survive that. 118 Vagar sacks. I don't know what a good number is. Mark Z just said the exact same thing. Mark Z. What do you say? Don't know what the good breakpoints. Well, do you know? I mean, you're going to be about even in CS with it. Like, getting behind would be kind of troll, because you're going to be getting most of your CS with your Q. Like, you can, you'll, you'll miss some early, but then when, when cannons come out every wave, it's like the same shit as Dust. You just start yeah. getting a lot. And obviously, you get, like, you also get some for hitting. People. Yeah, but, like, you're not spam hitting people in lane. That's why it's changed a little bit with, like, the range increase. Oh, wow, Boogie. That was real aggressive. Wow. Jesus. People definitely overestimate how many, like, fights you take with Soul and Vagar. Same shit, like, if you channel the beam for a second as Aurelian, then you get one stack, but, like, how often are you just sitting there beaming someone? Like, this is to full ass all in. Most of the time they can just get out of, like, the beam before it procs on you. Ow. Jesus. Oh. oh, wait. They fucked up tanking hard. Sticks a uh oh. Uh oh. They're fine. The tower is also going to die, so huge value on the pick here. Golden Guardian effectively snowballing ahead. This is the Damn, Golden Guardians is making it work. Yeah, 
3k gold lead now. TSM was at the Rift Herald for, first, trying to see if someone would face check, but uh, once Golden Guardians showed up and mass, there's no way they can actually take this team fight. So it's a clever idea knowing that Golden Guardians are going to be moving into. Oh, that's a oh. fatty Scion Q. Holy shit, Maple's getting dicked on. <laughs> Actual wombo combo. Dude, these Soraka's silence follow ups are just so brutal. Yeah. That was pretty troll on TSM, though. Like, they actually just walked up into a charged Scion Q. Yep. Like, I, I have to believe they didn't see him there, but it's not exactly like the craziest sneak attack. Huh. Wow, that was mistimed. Oh my god. Turtle's going a little bit giga here. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Turtle? Does he get turtle? Oh! It was freaky. I don't think it would have killed. Yeah, but it was freaky. Yeah, but it was quite freaky. It's true. He's a freak. Oh, and he's fucking gone. Wow. What the fuck was he doing there? Dying. Hmm. Ooh, the flash silence. Who he loves is huh. silence, dude. In, into nothing. Alright, TSM looks like they want to contest this. Oh shit, big TP by Vegar. I don't think Golden Guardians knows this is here. Could be large. Does he get a big stun out of the bush? Oh! Straka's surely gone here. Oh wow, way overkilled with that Vegar all Absolutely unnecessary. Vega takes the Soraka body. Starts being everyone's little support slut. Well, Golden Guardians does not want to give this up. I probably don't have to. Oh, it whiffed everybody. All right. Okay. Let me go pee. They get TP flanked, lose their support, and it's like they're still stronger. Oh boy. I mean, if you're a TSM fan, we've given them some cope. Here's a little bit more. Yesterday's game was also a very crazy long game back and forth. That's kind of their comfort zone. So, you know, they just got to find a couple more of these stalling kickoffs. True shot barrage pokes down Maple and Wild Turtle as Golden Guardians set up control in this jungle quadrant. But TSM still have two wards into these bushes, so they look for... Licorice getting the jumped. Not enough damage. Wow, Turtle just got fucking railed. Is that just Elise? Maybe Ezreal too? Oh! Nice. You saw that? I did see it. He went with the flash fucker. Flash fuck you. Hmm. Cho's dead for a while. No TP either. Oh, this is so cursed for TSM. Their only hope is the Vagar steal. He hits hard as hell with his QW. True. Oh wait, Boogie has legit no A in though. No alt, no flash. He's got no way home, just like Spider-Man. Oh baby. <laughs> oh. Oh. No luck. What this turtle doing? Oh my god, he ults the Q? This guy's crazy. Oh my god. He said. Turtle is wild and pretty hard. <laughs> oh, stick say? Big dick say? Oh! 
I mean, I think they're fucked. Like, I, I can respect the, the aggressive posturing, but I think if you just straight up lose the fight no matter what, probably not a good idea. What were they supposed to do, huh? They're down 10k gold? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think they lose no matter what. Yeah. I feel like if if Turtle's team wasn't four manning Grom, this actually may have not been that bad. <laughs> like nobody blocks the Scion ult. Like he is kind of getting trolled a bit here. Why don't we just run away instead and all get Shrek? I don't know. Like Turtle did go too far up, but I actually would rather like. Everyone follow up on what Turtle's doing there, then just like sit back, do nothing. Yep. Oh, he done got jaced. Solo kill? Dude? Okay, the Baron is started up. PSM should sniff this. Oh, they, I mean, they definitely know. Oh, is it just a YOLO? Is it a YOLO Baron? Oh, we hold it at 3k, right in Vagar range. All right, we've got Cho'Gath with no flash. Uh-oh. Oh? Oh, Turtle. Oh. oh! Looking just like tactical, actually. I was actually thinking that, too. <laughs> what did, did that start with a cum shot, or really? How did that? I think Scion just countered Zaya. What can we say? Oh my. Ah! That's a lot of damage. Triple kill, triple kill. Oh, she ball. Good night, TSM. Twenty-one seven. That's not the hours of a day in the week. It's, it does seem like a weird game plan to put Maple on a on Vagar when he's like the number one Do playmaker it. on their team. He smiled. Wait, he just lost. Wait, he got paid. Oh my God, he's rich. Why would you be smiling after a loss? Yeah, why aren't you in complete despair? I want to see watery eyeballs. Sitting in your chair for 20 minutes. Hang hey. hands. Yep. Slam the fucking desk. Kick the monitor. No eye contact with teammates. Start screaming at them. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. Boogie has it. That's the look. That's yes. what we like. Yes. That's what we want to see. All right, Sneaky. Yo, what's up, man? That was a fun day of LCS. So fun. Haha, <laughs> so fun. All right. GG, Sneaky. I shall catch you later. GG's. See ya.